G'day guys, how you going? It's your boy Jebel 1990 and welcome to another Minecraft building tutorial. This one's going to be about my stone generator. I am here currently right now in the Social Craft Let's Play server and this is something I built earlier in the week. This is a contraption that produces smooth stone. So if I just turn this on and you actually watch it should start to start flickering out, you can see that this just starts to generate a layer of cobblestone and then it pushes it out. Um, I've been using this in the server to get some money, and not only money, just to harvest cobblestone. It's really, really efficient. Um, I don't know how loud that is. I'll just turn it down so you guys can still hear me. So you can see that the pistons push it out, and then um, when it hits this redstone torch, these pistons activate and it pushes it along. So this will go all the way down to the end of the room there. You can have this working longer, but just for the way that I had this room, I decided just to have it like this because I don't really need it that long. I just sit here and I just. Oh, wow. Lag. I just sit here and I go through it just like this. I just go through each row, decide to just to run through each row. And you can sit here and you can, you know, start to make some stone bricks and you can cook up your cobble and some furnaces and stuff. So I'm going to go through a tutorial and I'm going to show you guys how to build this thing. Okay guys, so now that we're ready, we're going to need to get some list of materials that we're going to need. You need a block of your choice. Oh no, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> a block of your choice. I'm choosing gold just to, I don't know why, because I can. I'm in creative mode. Uh, we need a lever, some redstone powder, sticky piston, normal piston, a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, a redstone repeater, a redstone torch, and some glass. So that's going to be everything that we're going to need, and we'll get straight on into it. So first of all, what we're going to do is you need to choose your direction. So um, if you were to have a house, um, if you were to have a house, if you're building this inside a house or under a certain area, you would need to take into consideration to build this. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're going to grab our water and get rid of that sign. Uh, grab our water and a glass and some lava. So we're going to get rid of, get rid of the lever. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to knock out a piece of the of the ground, just like that, and you're going to grab your water and place place it on the block, just behind it here. Okay, so that's just going to flow into the into the hole there, just so it doesn't spread everywhere. So then you want to grab your glass and on the block that you place the water, go either side and up here behind it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do this. It's going to be it's a little bit tricky sometimes to follow. We want to we actually want to have glass on top of that water and we want to come out just like this like a cross and knock out that middle part so it looks just like that like it's a bit confusing you can see there's a cross on top we want to have this part on top of the water we want to actually have that covered up okay so we want to just have that covered up but we want this part down where the water's dripping down into this hole we want that uncovered <laughs> okay so now what we're gonna do is grab our lava bucket and that's just gonna we're just gonna click that down on top of this block just like that you can see that's how it generates the cobble so this the, the cobble is going to be coming out this way so keep that in mind but then again the pistons are going to bring it this way so as I said earlier if you're gonna build this inside a house and you need to take that into consideration don't forget to do so okay so for this purple pur purpose of this build we're gonna make the stone go that way Okay, so that's pretty much done. That's that's how you can generate stone, and you know, if you just wanted to sit here for ages and do it that way, you could. But I mean, that would take <laughs> that would take forever. Uh, this is actual the actual generation happening of the water and the lava meeting, creating the smooth stone. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the back end. So we're going to have the water at the very back, and we're going to come here. And what we're going to do is grab a sticky piston. It'd be good if you could have a a bigger invent in inventory. So you're gonna go stick your piston facing that way. Just like that, okay? And you're gonna grab a block of your choice. Oh no! Wrong thing. <laughs> the whole contraption's lighting up. No! <laughs> don't repeat that step, guys. You don't wanna do that. And <laughs> you would waste a lot of gold blocks too. Oh wow. I'm trying to rush. Okay, so we have our sticky piston here just like that. We want to place a, our block of choice down just like so. And we're going to knock the piece of ground out just there, just in front of it. We're going to grab a redstone torch and put it down just like that. Okay, so it's just going to look like this so far. You with me? Good. So now after we've got this piece of um, piece of earth dug out with the redstone torch in it, we're going to grab some redstone dust, put one dab down, block of your choice, another redstone torch on top. I'm going to grab our block and we're going to come on top of it and to the 
side, just like that. That's exactly how it's going to look. Okay, so it's just kind of like this C shape. Or if you're around this way, it's going to look like a D shape. <laughs> and then we just want to put two more, just like that. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. If you take it back, take a step back from this side, come over this way, look at this side. This is how it's going to look. Okay, so next thing what we want to do is we want to grab our repeater and we're going to come up. We're going to have it facing that way. Okay, so we don't want the repeater that way or that way. We want it facing that way. Okay, and we want to click it. We want to right click it just once. Have the delay set to two. Okay, so when you have your repeater facing downwards, we want to click it once. So we have a delay set to two. And just here we're going to add our redstone. And that's pretty much pretty much it. Probably um, what I've got to, what I was meant to mention before, which I probably should have done first. Um, you can get all this built up just so you can test to make sure that it is all working properly. Oh, and this is where we need our lever too. Lever is pretty important. We still need that. We don't need glass anymore. So just put your lever. You can put it there or there or. Uh oh, <laughs> you can put it there. I've got to disconnect that now. Hey yo. Um, doesn't really matter where you have it. You just need to have one so you can um. You can turn this thing on and off. I'm just going to put mine over here just for argument's sake. Okay, so this is the way it's going to look. Um, and you can, doing this at the moment isn't going to do anything. Not just yet, okay? But you can see that like, if you add a piece of redstone like here or something, it's going to extend the piston. Um, so this is just a bud switch. It's just acting like a clock. Um, what we need to do now, now that we can tell that it's working, uh, if you are playing this in survival mode, just grab an empty bucket and scoop this lava back up, or you can just, you know, put a block in and 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 harvest it back out. If you want to get rid of the lava for a minute, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna we need we need a piston, we need a piston here, but we need it facing that way. So you need to be able to put it in from this side. So you're just gonna grab your piston and you're gonna have it laying down that way. So you can see the way it's laying down. It's got to be facing this way. So the easiest way to do that, if you're playing this in survival, is to take out the lava. Otherwise, you have this whole big mess of problems. Um, and once you've done that, you can grab your lava again and place it back down again. Cool. So you can see now, it's just kind of activated. No, <laughs> it's realized that it's on. So after we put the piston down around here at the back, we want to grab some redstone, redstone powder. I'm just going to go one, two, three, and that should be it. It should start. It should. That should all be set up now. So if you flick the switch up, you should see that it's going to start producing cobble. This is this is the whole contraption to start producing cobble. Usually it's supposed to come out, I think it's 13 or 15 blocks. I'm not really... Sometimes it changes. Let's see how long this one goes for. It should stop in a minute. And about three more. There we go. It's stopped. Cool. So let's count that. I said turn off. So not ex not including the one directly underneath that, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So including that block underneath it, it's 13. Okay. Um, so it pushes out 13 blocks. So now what we're going to do, um, I suppose that doesn't really matter yet. Now we want, the, we want the cobblestone to be getting pushed that way. I should build a, um, a permanent daylight source here. <laughs> so what we're going to want to do for that is we're going to grab our normal pistons. We don't want sticky pistons. We just want normal pistons. And right next to this glass block, we want them facing that way. We'll just do, we'll just do nine for now. Um, what's that? Nine. 10, 11, yeah, we can go one more. We'll go 10. As I said, you could change this. Like in in my server, I've only got I've only got the uh, I've got five set up. I think it's I think it's even four. Um, but it's completely up to you. You know, this is why it's good. It's cut. Cu it's it's customizable to whatever you want. Okay, so we'll just leave it like that for now. And we're gonna grab a normal block. Usually, when I'm doing this in survival, I just like to use dirt. But we're gonna make it look pimp. And we're gonna use some. We're gonna use some. Um, some gold blocks. Okay, so you just want to put your normal pistons down and a block source behind it. So it's going to look just like this. And then in front of the very last piston, we're going to knock out a piece of the earth. Just like that. So on the last piston, we need a bit of a dip down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to come grab some redstone powder. And we're going to go across the top of the block source that we have at the back here. We're going to drop down one. Grab a repeater. Have it facing that way. And then one more dab of redstone. Okay, so it just looks like this. I'll give you guys one more look. The redstone comes all the way down. 
drops down one level, repeater facing that way, no delay, don't worry about that, don't have to worry about any delay, just lay the redstone uh, repeater down, and then to finish it we want a redstone torch in there just like that. Okay, so what this is going to do, when this is going around the clock, the signal's coming from the piston to the block over here, here, it's going up and across, and then it's resetting, just like a circle, and while that's happening, we remember we hooked up this piston out the back, it's pushing the cobble out that way, so then what's going to happen is when the cobble reaches to the end, to the last piston with the redstone torch in the hole, when the block hits this piece of redstone, it extends all the pistons. It sends a signal down through this back block, which all of these at the same time, hence no delay on the repeater, pushes all of the blocks out at the same time. So when they come all the way down here, gets to the end, pushes them all out bar the one that's underneath the glass block. Okay, so let's test it out. Hopefully it should all be good now. And this is important why you need a switch on here sometimes, because sometimes it can get out of control. So it's going to, we need a, um, the one thing that I will mention that might be helpful to you guys, it may not be, um, I've had a little bit of issues with it in the past, or in the server and stuff like that, sometimes in servers, it has a little bit of a problem with a bit of lag and delay and stuff, sometimes when the block knocks out, and you have to actually have that hooked up, you can see how that had a little bit of a delay, so you can see if you flick the switch up, see this delay, how it doesn't it doesn't start producing the stone for at least a second. Sometimes in a server, that can mean water and stuff can get out, and it ha used to happen to me all the time. So if this happens to you guys, um, it's not going to happen to everyone, especially if you're doing a single play, it's not going to happen to you. But if this does happen to you in a server or, you know, multiplayer and things like that, shift, hold shift, and lay down a sign just here on the piston. Okay, so that what that's going to do is if I can just grab some, I can just grab some water. Let's grab some water. And if the water's coming out from underneath there, you can see how it misses this gap here. You can see how it misses the gap that's there um, in the piece of water. But you can see now, if that was just to emulate water coming out, did it do it down here? No, it didn't get down there. You can see it ruined the redstone down over here and all this nonsense. Right, so you just need to make sure that water and stuff doesn't get out. So to fix that, place a sign there. And when you have... Um, when you have your stone coming out, always leave this block here. Always leave one block. So that's getting a bit confusing using gold. So I'll use stone. So if you have your stone generating coming out here just like this, if you just leave the sign there, it won't have a problem. So that's just for guys who have this same problem. What just happened there? So this is a good place to demonstrate it. Um, always just make sure you at least have this block here. So even if you just knock out the rest make sure you just have a block a block gap here so when you reset it you obviously the switch is it's on right now and you knock it out the delay that you have right there isn't going to come out and ruin ruin the rest of your redstone just a bit of a tip for you guys so hopefully this is going to keep producing get to the end and it'll push out the row so this is excellent for things like towny servers like the one that I'm in I'm feeling a bit cool let's go for a swim it's excellent for towny servers like the one that I'm in. Um, even just for single player. Oh no, maybe pause it. Even if it's just for single player and you need to harvest, you know, you want to build a gigantic kingdom or some kingdom walls and stuff. This is going to be excellent for things like that. Um, so, yeah, it's really, really useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you've missed anything that I said, Add this video to your favorites. It really does um, help you if you need to go back for any some pointers and things that you've missed maybe. Um, it really would help and you won't miss a thing. Enjoy the stone guys. Enjoy the stone generation. The power of Minecraft. <laughs> and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you could please leave a like. It really does help me out a lot. <laughs> and I'll see you guys for the next video tutorial. Bye.